guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So today, we're going to Virginia. We're fueling up right now. And uh, doing our 30 minute break after this. But uh, the truck looking. But yeah guys, as I was saying, we're having a, uh, a hard time finding a load out of Richmond. I've been searching in like a 150 mile radius. And it seems like I'm just not getting lucky. But uh, we're gonna have to look around and see what we can find though, so. All right guys, so we're back on the road and uh, I've been making some phone calls and uh, it ain't looking too good. There's maybe like 20, 20 loads available in a 100 mile radius of Richmond. Even when you look out further, it all goes up north. And man, personally, I don't mess with up north, y'all. Y'all probably, y'all probably already know this. Uh, I called about two loads going back to Jacks. I pick up in Suffolk, and they're like, "Yeah, it picks up the next day, which is tomorrow." And I'm like, "Okay, you know, whatever. I'll do that." And then she's like, "Oh, actually, you know, it said the delivery was Wednesday." which today is Monday, tomorrow would be Tuesday, and it delivers Wednesday. And then she's like, oh, actually, the delivery changed. The uh, the delivery is actually on Thursday morning. It's like, what do I look like holding on to a load for two whole days when the load only pays so much? You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it to hold on to a load for two days. Yeah, I'll be home, but that's not the case here. I'm not trying to be home. I'm trying to make money. It's like, I don't know what's going on with these rates, man. I don't know if it's the time or the month. I mean, it's February. I mean, I don't understand. I've called all my normal agents and they ain't got nothing. So I don't know what's going on, man. But uh, it kind of sucks. All right, y'all. So I ended up uh, having a broker call me. This is for another load. Uh, he called me and he offered me a load from Richmond. Right now we're in North Carolina. It's been about a, probably like two hours since I last talked to you guys. So he called me and he says, hey, got this load available. And I was like, all right, cool, you know, what's it about? <clears throat> and I noticed the agent, because I think I've hauled this load before. It uh, picks up in Richmond, but it delivers in McClenny, Florida. Now mind you, tomorrow is the second. The load delivers on the fourth, and at this point, seeing the way everything is every load is picking up on the second delivering on the fourth this load picks up right tomorrow at 8 30 and it delivers in mcclenny florida which is literally right down the house right down the road from my house probably like 10 miles and it's delivering to a walmart at 4 a.m on a thursday which is perfect because if they finish fast enough i can find another load and get on out of there you know and keep on rolling all right guys check this guy's classic out right here things murdered out things badass did it all yourself it's cool dude it's nice and here he goes guys he says he watches the video so shout out to you my man guys look it's freaking snow <laughs> i sound like a little kid dude literally yo i don't know if that's snow or ice but pretty sure that's snow y'all have no idea i haven't seen snow ever in america so yeah i'm like a little kid dude this is crazy but uh <laughs> this is so cool Florida man sees snow for the first time. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, I might use restroom. Know everybody get on out of here and go to Virginia. Boy, it is cold. Oh, y'all, it is freezing out here, y'all. We are almost to Williamsburg. Then we're going to unload. Then we're going to get out of here. Yeah, man, I got his classic. was all murdered out. I think it's pretty dang sweet. But yeah, this is uh, crazy, y'all, seeing snow. Just hope it ain't actually snowing, snowing where I'm going, but we'll see. Yeah, this is wild, guys. I ain't never seen this much snow on the ground, dude. It's like houses covered in snow and all that stuff. Man. It's just like, uh, look at that. But definitely don't want to be around here when it's actually snowing, because I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing. I got change or nothing. Alright guys, 
guys, we made it up here to Liberty, up here in Williamsburg, Virginia. And uh, we got about two hours and 54 minutes on our uh, 14 hour clock. 51 minutes of drive. Well, y'all can't even see me, but yeah. Um, so hopefully they'll come get us soon. And then uh, we can hit to the head to the truck stop because we got to uh, get to our next pickup tomorrow up there near Chesterfield, uh, Virginia. And uh, yeah, so that'll be that. And then tomorrow head back down. Hopefully it uh, doesn't snow tonight, which is crazy. I haven't really seen snow on 64. Like once I passed a certain point, like I didn't see any snow on the ground, which I mean, is kind of cool or weird, but yeah. So we're gonna wait here until they give us a door and then we're gonna back into the door. All right, guys, well, you've seen me how I back in this place because uh, sometimes if there's trucks here in these doors, I have to back in from the street, which sucks because this way right here, 
you can't go this way because there's no turn in here so it sucks and uh man this you see how this is lit up and you can see the lines perfectly you can't see the freaking lines here because they're barely even on the ground you know because it's all wet so you know i struggled a little bit i will say that man last time i was here last week i didn't record anything man it was raining when i tell you i struggled a lot man i literally struggled a lot and it sucked you know what i'm saying everybody has those days I mean, when you can't see the lines, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing you can really do about it. That's just how it is. Um, so, yeah. Um, classic looking all good and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, they're unloading us. And then we're going to be off to our regular uh, truck stop. So, Well, guys, we're out here. And there's a lot more snow out here. <laughs> than there was over there in Williamsburg so all right hanging out for the night and going to get loaded in the morning so, let's catch y'all in all right y'all well we ate and the snow it might snow overnight again but we're looking good I'll tell you that much oh man I love this truck y'all I have no idea Alright guys, well we made it to the shipper and uh, yeah, it's snowing currently, but uh, we're going to wait.
wait for them to give us a door. See, man, I looked at the paperwork and it told me it said the pickup was between six and like five. Now, I could have got here at six. It's first come, first serve. That's what I didn't know. The broker told me I had an appointment at 8 30. And it's like, man, I knew I should have just trusted my gut feeling and just went, at, left at like 5 a.m. and just got here at 6. Because I probably would have been gone by now, you know. But, I mean, it is what it is. You know. You learn for the next time that you come. But, it's no biggie. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to wait to get loaded and then uh, I'll see you guys then. Alright, y'all freaking five hours later man and we're finally loaded man that's ridiculous dude it is cold it's still snowing a little bit we're about to get on out of here though all right guys we're finally getting out of here man thank god dude that took forever man really not too happy about it but hey that's you know that's trucking you know it happens but uh you know it just sucks it's a first come first serve so they don't have set appointment times you know what i'm saying so they can take however long they want but it's okay you know your boy armor racked up a good amount of uh, detention so we'll make sure to get that puppy what was it like four hours of detention just about so can't beat it all right guys it is uh eight o'clock Still in South Carolina. We stopped at Kenley, did a little break, got some food. Um, and yeah, we're just trucking along now, trying to make it as far as we can. And uh, that's about it. It's pretty dark. You can't see a dang thing. I gotta adjust these headlights. These are new ones that I put in, but I uh, definitely gotta fix these. It looks purple for some reason. Yep, I'll catch up with y'all in a bit. Alright y'all, made it back to the yard safe and sound. Oh, time to go home and uh, relax. So I'll see y'all then. Alright y'all, it's the next day and uh, here we are at the yard. I'm just checking up on the truck. Man, you can see how dirty the truck is. Um, <clears throat> something crazy happened, and I want to show y'all, we're not going to walk that way because it's dirt everywhere, you can see how dirty the fenders are, so, don't mind the dirty truck, because it'll be clean real soon, and you can see from all the snow, <laughs> but, uh, I did want to show y'all what happened to me last night, it was pretty crazy, which I didn't understand, um, so y'all see this bar right here for these mud flaps okay and now you can see what happened here this thing broke off the dang weld and as you can see my fine mechanic job you know uh did a fantastic job um you can see how this one is and you can see how this one is and this whole thing like the mud flap was basically dragging on the on the ground and somebody basically just told me over the cb because i was just driving you know before i left everything was fine and uh yeah so that ended up happening uh pretty crazy so uh yeah we can't really get that fixed right at this moment because i have a delivery at 4 a.m right down the road um which it's not a big deal it's right down the road um that thing held for I mean, I don't even know how many miles it held on for, but it works. It's it's staying up. It's not going to break anymore. <clears throat> um, but after we do deliver, which is Thursday morning, we are going to go and get that fixed. So, uh, yeah, um, we're going to go straight from Walmart straight to TriStar Trailer Repair, the place that you guys see me get that one trailer that I had. All the tires are placed in the inside panels fixed so who knows how long that's gonna take but you know it's just my luck that that had to happen but it's a part of the game you know it's annoying that every time i do a drop and hook or when i had a live load because the load 
that I had with my other trailer. It was a live load. Then it changed to drop and hook. I'm like, ah, I'm like, I don't want to look for another load. Cause she called me a day late the day of that I had to pick it up. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, whatever. I'm, I'll just drop it. And I was stuck with this freaking trailer. Oh, crappy Vanguard. I always have bad luck with these things. I swear it's a 2013 trailer, but, uh, but yeah. So other than that, figured I'd just show y'all what I got going on, what happened. Uh, we got that fixed for now, but it looks like they're maybe going to have to weld that back or maybe just dump the whole trailer. I don't know. I mean, I noticed when I was doing my pre-trip, um, that some of the tread on, on the inside of the tires is like gone probably just cause they're old recaps, but uh, you know how Landstar is, but, uh, but yeah, man, this thing is filthy. Really got to get it cleaned. Um, so yeah, guys, other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed Hope y'all like all the drone footage at the truck stop. Let me know how, what y'all think about the whole, the, the drone shots. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of that or, or, or whatnot. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure if you're not subscribed, hit that sub button. And uh, share the video with your friends. And I'll probably catch y'all on the next one. Peace.